Hi boys and girls. I hope all of you are fine. I'm Miss Prima and I'm very glad to meet all of you here for a quick revision for the upcoming SPM 1119 English papers. These videos are made exclusively for 2020 SPM candidates and I really hope that these videos could help most of you. Hi viewers, thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel to view more interesting videos that could benefit you. And also, do like and share. Thank you. In this video, we will look into paper 1, section A, directed writing. In directed writing, you have to pay attention on a few types of formatted essays. They are informal letter, formal letter, article, report, speech or talk. Let's look at the past five years questions for SPM directed writing section. In 2015, the question was on speech. 2016 was talk, 2017 report, and 2018 again report, and 2019 was an article. So, what can be forecasted for 2020? Informal letter, speech, and article. So, please pay extra attention on these three types. But also do a little revision on how to write a report and also form a letter. So you are ready to face the paper if other format is tested. Let's look at directed writing formatted essays marks. The total marks will be 35. For the format, you can either get three or two marks. If it is two marks, usually it happens when the question tests on article writing. And content usually 12 or 13. So if it is article, the format will be two. So the content will be given 13. Other formats remain with three and the content will be 12. Language marks is 20 and it's standard. So if you're targeting for an A, probably format you get all full marks 3 or 2, content 12 or 30. So 15 marks is confirmed and language roughly you can get 15. So you'll get 30 over 35. So to get A is a clear chance. So to get 15 marks, your language should be largely accurate and simple structure should not have errors. Mistakes can only happen in complex or sophisticated structures. Vocabulary is adequately used but not developed to precision. Sentences, there are some variety of length and their tendency of using one type of structure like simple only or just compound and complex usually uh, will be less. Punctuation and spelling are generally accurate. If there are errors on this, it should be in complex structure. Paragraphs have some unity, but absent or inappropriate linkage is used. Writing is relevant, but interest is not sustained throughout the writing. Style and tone appropriate to the task. If it is, if you are writing a letter, it should be a letter tone. And if it is informal letter, it should be in a friendly tone. But you should not be rude in your language. You can only be friendly. So, to conclude, your essay should have like 
two to three lines of clear patches, which means error-free. And these patches should be frequent, not one or two patches. And the errors in overall should not hamper the meaning. So, write with less errors. Let's look at the format of the essays. First is the article. We usually will look at the question, the beginning of the question, and neglect the ending. You can see the format in the ending of the question. So let's look at this. I've circled the format. Give your article a title. So that is F1. Include the name of the writer, F2. So if the format allocated for article is three. Usually, they, they will ask you to write a concluding paragraph. So, I just put this as an optional. Alright? To write a report, you need to follow this format. The formats are F1 is 2, F2 is title, and F3 is writer's name. This can be seen in the question. Use the appropriate format, write to the teacher advisor, provide the title and give your name as the writer. Many of you fail to see this part. So for the coming exam, please pay attention on this part so that you know what are the formats will be given the marks. To write a speech or format, you also have to look into the format marks. And the formats are stated in the question. So let's see this question. First is greet the audience, that is greeting, F1. State the purpose of your speech, that is F2. And end your speech appropriately, that is F3. So please, students, pay attention on the question. Let's look at the content patterns in directed writing question lately. In 2017, the format was report. In the content given, at one look, you might think that there are only three answers or content on your own. The rest are given, but in actual sense, they are not. You can see the red arrows are actually concepts given, and you have to actually come up with your idea. Whereas the blue ticks are all the content points given. So here five content points are given and seven should be on your own. So let's look at other examples. Okay, this is actually 2018 directed writing on report. So similarly, there are only four content points given and the rest are mostly the concepts and some on your own. So, you can now roughly get the idea what might be the pattern of your directed writing question. So, carefully develop your content and make sure the content sentence is error-free if you want better marks. Here is another example on writing content points. Okay, this is actually 2019 SPM paper and the format was an article. So if you see here, there are six blue ticks. They are the contents given and the rest are all on your own, but the concept is clearly explained there. So your sentence should clearly state what the concept wanted. But if you see at this part, this is something very new. Uh, look at the third uh, component that is go green day activities. So in the bracket, they put give details for each activity. So if you only mere mention of the activity like uh, there was a chalk by an expert and you stop there. So there is no extra details given. So no content point. So what you can do here is my suggestion. You can say there was a chalk by an expert from University Malaya. So the word, the phrase University Malaya is actually an additional detail. So the content point is given. All right. So for the coming exam, please carefully look into these things.
Hi boys and girls, we have come to the end of the quick revision for SPM 1019 English Paper 1, Direct Writing. I hope my explanation on this section is very helpful. Good luck and do well in this directed writing section. Take care, bye.